Hey folks, it's Jared Mananen from the website TahoeTrailGuide.com. Today I wanted to talk about the five reasons that I like to snowshoe. The first reason I like to snowshoe is that it's just great winter exercise. It's easy to do, you just have to grab your winter boots, get dressed appropriately, and grab your snowshoes. It gets you out of the house, you can relieve some of that cabin fever you might be experiencing, and it's low impact, yet it still provides a great cardiovascular workout. Snowshoeing is as easy as walking, literally, but even though it's just walking, hiking out in the snow like this, whether it's this deep or this deep, is still a great workout. If you want to get your heart rate up and sweat a little bit more, just go faster. This is all dependent on conditions, obviously. In deep snow, you can really get a workout in and you're not going to be moving very fast, but you're definitely going to be working out. For those of you that don't like a traditional snow sports such as skiing or snowboarding, this is a great alternative. In firm and consolidated snow, you could walk around without snowshoes, but you're probably going to slip and slide as well as post hole a bunch of times. The second reason I like snowshoeing is that it's really easy to do. If you can walk, you can snowshoe. There are some techniques that you can use when conditions are a little bit more challenging, but essentially, if the snow is stable, you can pretty much just walk. All right, snowshoeing lesson's over. Very easy to do, very accessible to people who don't like sliding or gliding over snow, or don't ice skate, or ski, or snowboard. So very easy to do. The third reason I like snowshoeing is that it's very affordable. Generally you can find a pair of snowshoes for between $1 and $300 depending on brand and style. But other than the snowshoes and of course your winter attire depending on what the conditions are, you don't have to pay for a lift ticket, a trail pass, unless of course you are going to a groomed area. But a low investment in snowshoes provides a whole lot of access to ungroomed and off-trail area that at most will have maybe a parking fee. Overall, snowshoeing hands down is probably one of the least expensive winter sports that you can participate in. Be deliberate about kicking steps into the snow while hiking uphill in snowshoes, particularly when the snow is very firm. The fourth reason I like snowshoeing is that you can pretty much go anywhere on snowshoes. It definitely takes effort to hike up and down hills with snowshoes, but the snowshoes, because they're small enough and agile enough, you can negotiate all kinds of natural obstacles like rocks, boulders, trees, logs, underbrush, that sort of thing. It makes it really convenient when you want to go exploring deeper into the backcountry. Remain upright and perpendicular to the force of gravity when hiking up or down hill. The fifth reason that I like snowshoeing is that it gives me a great chance to do some winter photography. I usually cross-country ski in the winter, but I would never take this camera with me while cross-country skiing simply because I don't want to break it. I do fall on occasion and this thing will snap in half if I land on it wrong. Also, I have ski poles that I'll be using, but on snowshoes I can have my hands free and I can just have a camera at the ready at all times. I don't have to worry about slipping or falling down. And snowshoes provide you the opportunity to move around to get a better shot. You can get close to your subject matter or you can just move around a tree or an obstacle much easier in snowshoes than you could with skis, for example. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please post any comments or feedback in the comment section below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then go ahead and check out tahotrailguide.com.
The crampons on modern snowshoes, regardless of whether or not you have a recreationalist pair or something more geared toward mountaineering, is really essential for being able to walk confidently forward. I had walked much of the first half of this seven mile round trip just in my winter boots, and it felt like for every two steps forward, I'd slip back one. On top of that, I was post-holing every once in a while, which could potentially lead to injury. 